Jake. If you would have told me only a few years ago that I would be meeting you at the altar, I wouldn't have believed you. Never in a million years would I have dreamed that God was working to design a partner for me who was as kind-hearted and ambitious as you. You're truly the best compliment to my life and the best testament I have that proves that God's plan is perfect for each of us. Your dependency on Jesus encourages me to cling to Him the good, the bad, and the in-between. It's funny how so many people tell you to soak up each moment of your wedding day, the details, the laughter, the good company, as if this is as good as it gets. Luckily, I know today is about so much more than the festivities. It's about a promise we're making to the Lord to love and pursue each other with the same esteem long after the cake is gone. There's no tip or trick that anyone has yet to share with me on how to have a happy marriage that can even begin to compare to simply relying on Christ to strengthen and guide us. In a few short hours, the journey we've been eagerly anticipating will begin, and I can express how excited I am to be your wife today and every day hereafter. Thank you for choosing me, and I'll see you soon. With all my love, Carly. Jake, take you, Carly, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Carly, if you would repeat after me, I, Carly, take you, Jake, to be my husband. Carly, take you, Jake, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Jake, if you will take your ring and place it on the third finger of Carly's left hand and repeat after me this promise saying. With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Carly, you'll take this ring and place it on the third finger of Jake's left hand and repeat this promise saying, with this ring, I seal my promise. With this ring, I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Okay. Our Father, we come today asking your blessing upon this home that is being established here today. We thank you for the joy of living and especially for the joys of love and marriage. 
Father, bless Jake and Carly as they begin their lives together as husband and wife. Watch over them, protect their love for each other and their love for you. May their home be full of happiness and fulfillment. As they come to know each other better, may they also learn to know you so that their home becomes a light to others, a light that testifies of your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jake, Carly, you have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have sworn your love and affection by joining hands, have made promises of faith and devotion each to the other, and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. Jake, you may kiss your bride. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord have, make his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. Amen. Dear friends, may I present to you the and Mrs. Jacob. Too long into our relationship that I told you I loved you. It was blindingly obvious who you were back then. You were my person, my passion, my love. You are my future. I've never been the person to sit around and wait for something I want, a painfully frustrating characteristic you've been patient enough to work through. And I knew from the beginning that you were the one I wanted. You made me feel so incredibly loved. I don't think any two people could be more different than us, and we've seen how that affects us throughout the years. But through the differences, you've loved me unconditionally. You trusted me slowly, then wholly. You committed, and so did I. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to fully say how much I love you because I've learned that I discover new reasons every day. I even have trouble describing why. The feelings I have for you are so far beyond my own comprehension. I was blessed by God to have you, and I thank Him for that as often as I can. Your willingness to love me through my falls is remarkable, and I try to improve daily in hopes I can be the man you deserve. As cliche as this all may sound, I feel it deep within my soul. You made me want to pursue a greater me, a greater us. As for the future, I'm not at all terrified. I feel safe in your love, in your faith, and in the life we've built already. There's no better person for me to join together with. It's only you. I love you, Carly Renee. Today, tomorrow, and forever.